Hello and welcome to Technocare Industries SAP Geek. This is Anurag and today we'll be seeing configurations of features in InfoType 7. So purpose of this video is to explain what are features in SAP HCM and how are they used. How we can default value of work schedule using feature SCHKZ in InfoType 7. What is input control for working hours and feature WR KHR how to configure working weeks how to enable working week fields in infotype 7 default value of working week in infotype 7 and time management status in infotype 7 so these are not all the features in time management but focused only which are available in infotype 7 so we'll be covering the rest of the features subsequently so first let us see what are features in sap hcm Features in SAP HCMs are some configuration points using which uh, we can either set some validation or put some default value to fields while info types are getting created or to take some decisions based on certain parameters. So these three things can be done in SAP HCM using features one very important thing to note before configuration of any feature is that uh, they are time independent means we cannot change uh, value of a feature with effective some date they can be changed based on some categories let's say decision parameters like employee group employee subgroup pa psas based on this we can take different different decisions but they cannot be changed effective date so this is a very important point that we have to keep in mind before configuration of any feature so the three uh, common use of features uh, are setting validation setting default values and taking decisions so uh, setting example of setting default values is a is what we are going to see in this video so let's jump on to the configuration part transaction, transaction code to maintain features is P03 using this we can, can modify standard, standard features, features and also create some custom, custom features for our own so typically a feature will have these three sub objects that one will be decision tree which is the primary use of feature second will be the attributes here we will be giving the structure and country as component assignment for every feature so structure is nothing but um, it will list down the fields based on which decision can be taken inside the decision tree of the feature so pm01 in pm01 we are having these fields for decision making it is also important to note that this feature or this structure which is used in the feature has to be populated at runtime when the feature is called by default every every pme structure will be filled in transactions like pa30 and pa40 for evaluation of custom features if we are using them so the first uh, feature that we'll be seeing uh, configuration that we'll be seeing that is set default value of work schedule this this feature is chkz this is used for defaulting work schedule rule in infotype 7 for example employees getting hired and for the first time infotype 7 is getting created then default value for this particular field will be coming based on settings and in this feature so in our case let's say i want in employee subgroup 1 i want to keep work schedule rule as 6 day 1 sc as my default so i can do that I just have to give 
employee subgroup one employee group one employee subgroup one a so I'll create over here one a one a and then under this any one a I'll give return, return value. value okay in return value I will give this six day one C which is which we have configured, configured in our, our previous videos so I'll hit tran transfer and now I'll activate, activate the feature whenever I will whenever we will, we will do a customizing in features it is very important to activate them there is another report which by default activates all the inactive features that we will be seeing afterwards now, now whenever employee will be hired for this particular employee group and employee subgroup automatically this work schedule rule will be assigned in this field so this is the use of SCHKZ feature which is to default work schedule rule in InfoType 7 let's move on to next feature which is WRKHR here if we see there are four fields daily working hours, weekly working hours, monthly working hours and annual working hours out of these we can set any one field as editable currently it is daily working hours so D is enabled and rest of the things are calculated based on inputs in this field so if we change from 9 to 10 hours then automatically fields will get updated okay so if we wish to keep weekly working hours as input that also can be done so basically this feature decides which field out of these four fields should be editable for user while data maintenance in PA30 so as it says D so daily working hours are editable if I set it to W, it, this weekly working hours will be editable like this. Also, there is this X. So, a character specifying whether it is D, W, M, and A, and an indicator which can be either X or blank. Now, what is use of this indicator? Here we also can see that weekly working days are 6. So there are two ways for defaulting these values. One is from work schedule rule, which is coming from this. So uh, if you remember, already we have defined certain period of work schedule and assigned to this work schedule rule. So based on that, if you want to keep our weekly working days dynamic based on work schedule rule, add over here that can be done. For that, we have to set it to X. And if we want that this weekly working days field should not be linked to this but rather it should be 5 and let's say I am creating another record or copy creating a record so while doing that copy creation whether the system should take these 5 which is maintained over here or it should take based on whatever optional rule is being assigned for the new period so that decision is taken based on this indicator okay so this is fairly straightforward and this will have to do once only at the time of implementation so let's move on to the next config one more or uh, there is additional field over here basically it comes after time management status but here it is not uh, visible, visible currently in standard, standard setting, setting it is not visible based on the requirement we can either enable it or, or disable it which is working, working week. week okay so, so here first we will go to its configuration and see what we have in working, working weeks so here, here list of working week can, can be defined and we can give certain name for our week here, here again we have, have to give start date, date. we had a similar con similar configuration in work schedule rule so this start date is just to indicate on which particular day a working week starts as we have seen 1 1 was on Monday 
So our working week 01 is going to start on a Monday, length of which would be 7 days and start time would be 00 hours. Similarly, our working week 02 would start from a Friday and from Friday to Thursday and this working week would be from Monday to Sunday. So how does it make difference? Why, why we are having different uh, working weeks defined? So this uh, this is usually done when let's say we are we we need to have certain uh, weekly limits to our wage types or our overtime. Let's say employee um, is allowed to do overtime, but weekly he he can be paid only for maximum. Uh, let's say 10, 10 hours of overtime. If, if he crosses uh, 10, 10 hours, let's say he, do, he does overtime of 12 hours or 13 hours, he should be paid only for those 10 hours and not 14 hours. So, so based, based on, on that, we will have to cap our wage types. types. Okay. So, for, for that, we can assign this uh, weekly week, uh, working week uh, split, and then based, based on, on that, that split, we can group the wage types, types and uh, do our capping calculations. So, as, as I said earlier also, this is uh, in standard it is a d mm, not a visible field. field. Okay. okay. So, we have, have to make, make it visible. For doing that, that let, let us see what, what is the module pool program for this. Our program name is MP007000. So, this applies for all the hidden field guys we can do uh, we can change it based on this module pool programs we'll just keep that okay and in screen number 2000 we'll see uh, that working week is hidden so instead of hidden let us say we'll make it a required field which is which makes it uh, mandatory also and we'll just hit save button so what this configuration will do is uh, this will make that, that feed visible in this info type. Now let's see whether our configuration is working. Okay, now we can, can see, see that, that working week has come, come but uh, nothing has been defaulted yet. And list of working weeks that we have configured in the earlier uh, table are displayed over here. One more thing, mm -hmm. what we can do is we, we can, can default, default this working week, which is our next configuration, which is feature W week. So set default, default values for working weeks. If we go over here, here feature employee, employee subgroup. So let us create employee subgroup decision operation one. A. Okay, employee subgroup. No. One minute. Uh, okay. Here we'll get one A and to one A we will do return value zero one. Okay. So if employee subgroup is one A, zero one working week should be get defaulted in the W week field. So let's activate this field. Let's see and come back. Okay. Now let us see how our configuration works we'll try to change info type 7 and oh, while creating info type 7 okay if i try to create now this working week is getting defaulted to 101 which is working week monday okay so similarly uh, we, we can, can have n number of working weeks defined in system starting from different points in our, our calendar. calendar. So this was uh, configuration of working weeks. Now we, we have, have one more field in info type 7 which is perhaps the most important field which is time, time management status. status. So here, here we have emulation of actual times, times which is EM00 schema which is positive time evaluation. Positive of planned times, time evaluation time of planned times, which is negative time, time evaluation, TM04 schema, schema, and no time evaluation. So, 
many, many other, other uh, fields are also there so, so to default this field we use our TMST feature, feature which, which is this node so here we will see that okay in, in India, India it is, is by default 9 so what I would do is I would delete this I would create uh, another field for decision okay I'll check employee subgroup and it transfer otherwise I will return 9 okay and if it is 1a 1a I would return let's say 1 so for our 1a employees it will take time, time management, management status, status as 1, one. Okay, so let's say we are hiring a new employee and we are hiring in one in employee subgroup. We will have defaulted value for time management status as one. Okay. So that was all for features available in InfoType 7.